All right, what's up, guys? Hey, wait with the camera setting. <laughs> Today's a little <laughs> this is different. So weird. <laughs> Today's a little different. We're gonna be doing an interview. I'm gonna be interviewing Sutton, my pregnant wife. We're gonna nail her with the questions. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm very put on the spot. <laughs> uh, but before we begin, why don't you stand up? Show them your little bump. Show them how pretty you are. Can you see my whole body? Hold on. Their little bump update is thirty weeks. So cute. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Well, first off, I gotta say that you are a very pretty pregnant woman. Thank you. The most beautiful pregnant woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Thank um, you, that's sweet. First question, do you like being pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I do like being pregnant. I feel like I liked it more with Oakland than I do this time, but with him, I was going to weddings and everyone's like, sit down and rest and have something to drink and are you hungry? And everyone's just so nice to you. I think that's the best part. But it seems like you also have a lot of things that you don't like about it. But overall, you're saying that you do like it? Overall, yeah, I like it. All right, that's good. I'm forming life. How could you not like this? <laughs> um... Well, that kind of leads me to one of my other questions, is that if you could skip pregnancy and just have the baby, like the baby just pop out of thin air, would you do that? Or do you like the process of being pregnant? Hmm, that makes me think of like a, is it called a surrogate when they carry your baby for you? Like if it's something like that, I would say I want to be the one pregnant. But if it's like literally my, our baby, and God's just handing it to me, then maybe I'll just skip it all. <laughs> ah, see, that's where I was getting at. But that's more instant gratification, you know? It's like, you want a baby? Here's a baby. You don't have to wait nine months. <laughs> but a lot of us need these months to prepare. I feel very unprepared, if that's a question. <laughs> what do you have to prepare for? His room is a mess. All we have is a crib put together, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, what is the easiest slash hardest, easiest and hardest thing about being pregnant? The easiest thing is eating all the food. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like encouraged for you to eat more because you know now you're feeding for two. That's the best part. <laughs> and the hardest thing is just, I guess, what it does to your body. My Bones are moving around and everything's getting looser, making room for him, and it does not feel good. I got popping going on by my tailbone. It just doesn't feel good. So what have you been eating that you feel uh, guilt-free about that you may not normally? Brownies. Every day, twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I've been eating them too, so you gotta cut this out. Yeah, I was telling him with Oakland, I think my... Food was egg sandwiches, which aren't really that bad, but with this baby, I feel like it's brownies. <laughs> That's just what I want all the time. And I already love brownies, but not every day. Are you self-conscious about the way you look being pregnant? Um, naked, yes. Naked? <laughs> with clothes on, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I would say, I don't know, probably, so. I don't know if it's self-conscious, but I do feel like anything I put on doesn't look good. So I don't know if that's considered self-conscious or not, but yeah, I just feel like I can't ever like dress cute. <laughs> like I want to, but it's- Like, do you think you're fat or do you think that you're, like, what are you self-conscious about? Like not looking good. Like well, my what clothes- doesn't, What like, doesn't look good? I just feel like when I put clothes on, and they don't fit me right or they always have to be like frumpy and big because I just didn't really buy any maternity clothes which I guess is my fault then I just don't feel that good <laughs> one of my questions was do people treat you differently being pregnant you kind of mentioned it earlier but how do people treat you differently yes everyone treats you differently and it's so nice but it makes you think like why don't we all just treat each other like that anyways like why do you have to be pregnant to get treated so nicely but everybody's so nice, they just, like when I go to weddings, like I said, they just are saying, sit down and rest, and how do you feel, and here's some food, and have some water. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't sit down, like I'm trying to work. <laughs> and then people, just random people at stores and stuff will talk to you, how, when are you due, you look so cute, things like that. <laughs> but if you're not pregnant, they don't really talk to you. Strangers will don't really talk to you. Which is kind of funny because I've noticed since not only having a wife, 
but having a kid, I feel like people perceive me so differently and treat me so much nicer. Like they trust me more, I think. Where like if I were to be walking down the street or down the road before I met Sutton, I feel like people would like look at me like, who's this guy? But now that I have a, a wife, a kid, and even a pregnant wife, it's like, oh, he's, he's safe territory. <laughs> <laughs> he's a friendly guy. <laughs> Well, you do have a permanent smile on your face, I feel like, so. I didn't, people didn't pay attention to that before. <laughs> um, what would you say is your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about being pregnant? Well, that kind of went with that other question about the food and the back issues. My favorite That's thing, right. my favorite thing is eating the food. Really? <laughs> wow. I thought you were going to say like feeling the baby or. No, well that too, that is pretty cool. Sometimes it's kind of <laughs> aggravating, like. When you're sl trying to sleep and stuff, you know, he'll like kick me and keep me awake sometimes. But my least favorite thing, I can change that. So besides my back pain, my least favorite thing is restless legs. I've been having restless legs at night and it's horrible. And if any of you don't know what that is, it's like where you feel this urge to move your legs and there's literally nothing you can do about it. Like they're gonna move. I'll try to fight it. I'm just gonna, I'm just like, I'm not gonna give in, I'm not gonna move. And then they'll just like spaz and kick and kick and you can't sleep. How much weight have you gained? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a shocker. I've gained 30 pounds. 30, wow. And I'm 30 weeks, so and a I pound a week, I guess. And I think it's all stomach. Literally, I feel like the rest of your body has stayed the same. <laughs> well, that's the goal. <laughs> But that's also probably why my back hurts so bad. What has been the most, un like the most unexpected thing about being pregnant? Well, something recently that happened that was unexpected to me was we got a doula, which I didn't go into it expecting that we were going to do that. Mm -hmm. But after last experience, I really feel like it's going to be a good idea. And what is a doula for those that don't know? A doula is someone who, I want to say what she said yesterday <laughs> when we met with her. A doula is someone that just is kind of like with you through the pregnancy process. They come to um, appointments if you want them to. They answer your questions. Um, they come to your birth and she's just kind of there as like an advocate for you, which I feel like we really needed that last time because we didn't know what was going on. But they know what's going on and they know like your rights and things that you can decline and stuff like that. All these things that we don't really know about. And they're educated on like what's going on with your body when you're having a baby and I just think that would be really nice to know what's going on because in our last experience we were just in the dark like no one was telling us what was going on or why things were happening and she was saying that the unknown creates fear in you which I definitely believe and then like knowledge gives you strength and knowing like okay we talked about this I know what's going on I know why I'm feeling this way and I believe that. Is the first time being pregnant or the second time being pregnant harder? I'd say the second time is harder because the first time I was just napping whenever I want to and not sitting on the floor playing with another kid and not picking up another kid. But now, all day I'm picking up Oakland, carrying around a 25 pound kid and you know that's not easy on my back and already I have so much weight on my front and I'm holding him on my front. So it's a lot of bending down and standing up and like all these movements that I didn't have to do before. And Which sitting definitely been unexpected for you because a lot of people say the second time's easier, don't they? I think so, yeah. Um, I guess because you know what's to expect and everything, so it's easier. And we didn't really give my body much time to come back, like bounce back from Oakland because we got pregnant when Oakland was mm -hmm. six months old. So that's probably another problem. She's going through the gauntlet. And I guess what everyone is saying that we're going to have two babies under two. Yes. That's probably what I'm most nervous about is um, the transition of one to two. His parents say that the hardest transition was none to one. And then my parents and my sister say the hardest transition was from like one to two or like going from one to multiples because you're not just worried about one kid. And now you're like you each have a kid to kind of to take care of. Mm -hmm. You can't just take turns. <laughs> Do you have any advice for future pregnant women? My advice would be, I would say throughout your pregnancy, I just think everyone should do it their own way. Like everyone has an opinion 
and everyone has like the right way to do it or like the best way to do it but I just feel like everybody's different and what's good for you may not be good for somebody else like as far as doulas and midwives and epidurals and hospitals and home births and water births there's just like so many options and no one really guiding you through it so I would just say do your own research don't go off everyone else's story because everyone's different and just have your own experience the way that you want to Mm, seems like good advice for a lot of things in life (laughs) do you think I'm helpful (laughs) in what way (laughs) like in my pregnancy yeah in your pregnancy well how could you be helpful you know i mean you know i do i give you massages oh yeah i thought you mean like although i wasn't fishing to have to ask you what i do i was hoping you could just say if you think i'm helpful or not (laughs) well i'm just thinking of like all this weight i'm carrying around like how do you help me carry it but you don't (laughs) Yeah, you do help me because my back hurts and you give me massages and you watch Oakland at night for like an hour and a half so I can do my little stretches. And my... Make sure you let them know how little time I watch them. <laughs> I feel like that's a long time. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I mean, when I'm up there spending an hour and a half by myself, I'm like, yes, it's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't think, I, don't, I bet you most moms don't get that hour and a half to themselves. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, everyone's going to be in the comments, how dare you? <laughs> but he's doing, he's working, so he has a job. <laughs> how do you think I would handle being in your shoes? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> All guys in my life that I've known are just, like, not that tough when it comes to physical things, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I could handle it. <laughs> that you could handle it or that I could handle that it? That I could handle you listening to you. You could handle me not handling <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's pretty bad. But I think well, something I do think about you is that the movement, I think you'd be amazed at like every little thing, like the movements. Every time you moved, I think you'd be like, feel this. <laughs> you won't believe this. What's the scariest thing about being pregnant? I think the scariest thing is like fear of the unknown. You know, not knowing when I'm going to go into labor and if it's going to be on time and like I think I feel fear around if he's going to come too early or something's going to be wrong with him when he comes out and he's not going to be perfectly healthy, things like that. But to alleviate the fear, I think prayer is like my biggest go-to because I feel like I say a lot of prayers about him and his health and him staying in there as long as he can and everything just going smooth. We pray for each body part. (laughs) <laughs> and his personality too, his heart. I can ask you a question. What? I don't know. You're going to flip the script on me? <laughs> How do you feel about being the dad of a pregnant... I mean, the... <laughs> <laughs> a dad and you're about to be a dad times two. How do I feel about it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pretty happy about it. I... uh yeah, I love Oakland. He's so much fun. But I am a little worried about our relationship. Yours in Oakland's or new baby? Mine and yours. Oh, <laughs> why? I don't know. I just wonder, like, will we have any time together? Um, you make time. Yeah, well, as best as we can. But, yeah, have as much time together and will we be, you know, when we're trying to run a business or and trying to take care of two kids, are we going to get frustrated easily? Those are things I, can, I have concerns about. But mostly I'm excited. I can't wait for Oakland to have a little friend. And I've always pictured myself with two boys, so to see that come to fruition, I'm excited about it. Which is so funny, we've been talking about it, that I, we just picture our next baby looking completely different in Oakland, like dark hair, dark eyes. But that's what we thought Oakland was going to look like too, so. What's y'all's guess? What do y'all think he's going to look like? Speaking of what he looks like, next week we're actually going to uh, get his 3D ultrasound. And I think we're going to vlog that experience. So you'll be able to get to see that. Yeah. This is Nathan Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration, one view at a time. And that was me interviewing my beautiful pregnant wife.